Hello VR shoppers and welcome to the VR shops review of the Magic Speed X52 Smart Drone. For detailed information and buying links, please do visit the website link in the description box below. But for a quick hands-on review and unboxing, just keep watching. Okay, what do we get? Uh, it's got a barometer to set height, trajectory flight, that's interesting, a 1080p camera, one key return, that's interesting, real-time transmission, a, a key takeoff landing. So I think that means one key for takeoff and landing. Uh, nothing else on the side, if you can just see on the side, it does come in sort of black, red and white, I think got the red one I presume or maybe it's the white one I don't know <laughs> it didn't really say but uh, that's what you get there's nothing else actually of course uh, there's full FPV view and that as well as a VR mode for our mobile VR headsets hence the reason that we're reviewing it here anyway looks all right looking forward to it Let's get into the box, find out what we get, and uh, just how easy it is to set up. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we get then. Let's open it up. And, oh, that's interesting. It's all polystyrene protected. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. Nice and protective, that's for certain. And when we open that up, take the lid off. Wow, that looks all right. So we have uh, some crash barrier stickers. <laughs> Don't need that. We have the uh, the camera with your aerial and things like that to plug in. You also have a screwdriver, handy. I like that. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you got four spare blades, which is nice. You also get, uh, oh yeah, it's like um, a micro USB adapter, which is also really nice. Uh, what else is this? This is a, uh, a yes, <laughs> some sort of stabilization uh, gimbal device. Seems quite shock absorbent. Uh, what else do we get? We get this, I don't quite know. I think it's to hold, uh, Oh, that's nasty. Hold your smartphone in. Yeah, to hold your smartphone in there. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that. And there we go. There's the controller. We've got four keys going down the side. Although, <laughs> uh, clicking on them, I don't think they are keys at all. I think they're going to be lights. So we have something there to do with the... Uh, uh, this thing I don't know what that is uh, I'm gonna take it that's land that one's take off don't know what that one is stop power uh, up and down a ticket that's going to be all adjustments and things like that so on this one we have full motion and on this one we also have full motion and two shoulder buttons for whatever they do and we're gonna need Oof, one, two, three, four double A batteries. Wow, that's quite a few. Let's get into the drone itself. Oh, okay, so we got the drone here. And we have two legs there. I think, oh, actually, is there little screws? There is little screws. Let's try and, uh, let's try and put the legs on now. That would be good.
Okay, so we've given everything a charge. I'm now going to put the fully charged battery back in there. Just slot it into the back there. Plug it in first, obviously. Like so. Uh, should go in all right. There we go. And pull that down. That goes up in there like that and just slots in there. Tuck everything else in, obviously. And then we can close that up all neat and tidy there. I've also plugged in the camera and everything. That's all done there. So the only thing left is to turn it on. And the switch is located on the power side, uh, just about there. You can just about see that. I take it that's the front view anyway. Uh, meanwhile, over in the controller, yeah, just pull that down. <laughs> I don't know why there wasn't a screw there, but there wasn't. You got four uh, double A's in there. So we're all ready to go. But we need to do something first. We need this piece of paper to download an install app. <laughs> so we need to do that. So get your phone load up a QR code reader and it will go to this address click on that and it seems to be Android only so if you see signs for iOS it isn't so it's Android only uh, this file can harm your device we'll go for it anyway should be okay I hope anyway. And then just open that, go to settings, go this, allow installation, install. And then we can open that up. Do you want to allow it to a photos media? Yeah, just knock yourself out. There you go, and know its location. Do you want to record audio? There we go. And this is where the app comes in. So the top one, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, there you go. So uh, on language, you got uh, Hong Kong I can imagine and English which is nice so you also have fixed height mode on there I don't know what that will do just yet on settings you've got auto save parameters yes parameters restart and right hand mode on off so there go back uh, play what's play ah this is pretty good uh, the play mode allows you to have a practice with the uh, drone. Let's try and bring it down, bring it down. <laughs> there we go. So you can, oh, careful, careful. There we go. I like that. That's a pretty good feature, actually, so that you can get used to it before that you've even uh, come out. So we take it up. <laughs> if I could bring it down so I could actually like get used to seeing what I'm seeing. There you go, there you go. Is that about right? No. <laughs> oh God, is this how it's gonna go down, is it? I think it's gonna be all right now. Come on. No, it's going up into the sky. No, let's bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. So. If I can, <laughs> there we go. Right, let's do it nice and low, nice and low. So moving left and right, we'll uh, rotate it round, turn it round, and there, up, and forward. <laughs> what did that do? Right, up. So that tips it forward, tips it back, obviously. And that tips it on its side, things are at 
and then this will rotate it left and right around oh that's really handy i like that so let's go back uh and now we can connect to the drone so let's put the drone on and flick there it's just there we go so that's actually on <laughs> be careful with that's not going to take off and you scroll down you go to uh wi-fi okay what you're looking for is this second one down yd 720p ufo edf 733 and then you just click on that checking the quality obviously when you uh, connect when you're out in a field <laughs> that should be the only one uh scroll down now we can go to now that we're connected by a camera you can see my hand moving there so these are going to be controls up and down uh mostly if you just want to uh, have it on view i gotta be <laughs> gotta be careful here i think we can click record and that is actually recording uh the footage like that now now i don't know where that went i think maybe it films are uh, on the screen uh video in phone there you go and it goes there and yeah you know it's nothing amazing special but it's all right not too bad at all let's go back uh what does this do <laughs> i got to be so careful, I think it's like Matt is liable to shoot up, on, off. Ah, oh, there you go. So you can have it uh, on, off, and then as you're going up, it'd be a much better uh, thing to do like that. And then hopefully you can record. Uh, I don't know if recording... No, recording does keep it like that, but when we stop it and uh go to clips video info and go to the second one it doesn't show up the icons up the top it is just completely clear which is fine let's click back oh god right there click play so what else have we got let's click that on let's click that so we do have full fpv mode if if you want just pop it into a mobile vr headset and away you go that'll be pretty good lots of fun uh what else can you do I don't know if you can um if you can film and then pop it in there if i pop that in there no it does have to be uh filmed in uh, fpv mode for you to be able to do it so if we go back So when you go back you click on this and hang on what we got actually so 720 is the max that you can have which is all right i don't quite know what that is uh careful <laughs> uh yeah so when you do it on that and then you press record and then it'll go up go up hopefully over a, a nice view of something and then you can stop it there and then when you go into clips and click on that no that didn't record in that mode that's weird it didn't record in that mode so that's interesting it does record um normally even if you're in um fpv dual screen split screen mode with your phone and your mobile via headset but sadly <laughs> now you might have realized this that you'd have to be recording and in that mode before that you actually put it in uh into the the headset itself because you'd have no way to actually do it otherwise okay okay so for this bit what we're going to do i'm just going to hold it just to show you the controls you need to start i'll put that over there by holding these down to these directions and you'll hear that beep and that means that it's safe that it's ready to go now you can do two methods you can just start by uh, up in the power there 
or you can click on ta auto take off and auto landing so if we click on hold, <laughs> hold into it we'll click on auto take off there we go and then when you click auto landing it lands quite nicely okay here we go i'm just going to go show you the the keys and remotes and things like that. Uh, this button on here, located right here, is acceleration, key, uh, left long, fast rotation, things like that. And on this side is uh, right length, fast rotation. So those are uh, rotating around, like so. And that's what that will do. Pretty good. Uh, you got left controller, which is mostly your... Uh, up and down basically and then left and right also does what the uh, um, shoulder buttons do only slower obviously the right controller forward will make it bank forward pulling down will make it bank backwards left right pretty simple well apparently there are there is a difference between a uh, regular version and fixed version which well, I think we're just gonna have to experiment with while we're out and about which is a bit of a shame but uh it looks all right so far controls are pretty easy the connection seems to work all right I suppose it's time to uh, <laughs> take it up and uh, see what this baby can do looking forward to it and looking forward to seeing how easy it is to control particularly with the uh, return home and things that app functions should be pretty good if it works anyway. Okay, here is my final thoughts on this. It's uh, <laughs> it's clearly uh, a sort of, not necessarily a beginner drone, sort of amateur drone. Uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap. It's, it was about 60 quid, which, you know, was a fair old amount for a drone. Uh, I also said it was oddly controllable, <laughs> which for me is a real must. Easy takeoff, easy landing, return to base, I think it was pretty easy. I thought that it was going to be able to uh, uh, move the camera via this button, but that clearly didn't work. But as we can see by the footage, it's actually not that bad. It's <laughs> not that bad quality at all. It films, it says HD, it's only 720, but it still looks pretty good and went far enough away for me to be able to nip between the trees and things like that it really was it was all right banking left and right wasn't the fastest drone in the world and it certainly doesn't last very long with filming as well as flight it lasts literally uh, about six to seven minutes <laughs> not very long at all and sadly you only do get one battery but the good news is those batteries are hot swappable so you can at least buy other batteries and um, last a bit longer still a bit annoying with such a short flight time oddly controllable like i say it's <laughs> the more i play with these sort of drones the more i realize 
the cheaper the drone or the more lightweight a drone is the harder it is to control you know one fart of wind and this thing goes off all over the place making it pretty you know pretty hard in the sort of welsh countryside where wind seems to come from everywhere and it was a pretty miserable day when i was out filming so that's also something to take into consideration why it was a bit jumpy but overall i gotta say i'm kind of impressed but i am impressed with the camera i'm impressed with the controls although you know it's just a cheapy plastic drone <laughs> fair play it's still solid uh, it took a few knocks uh, particularly into trees and things like that and <laughs> it's still going and that has to be to its credit no blades are broken everything still works so you know you've got to take that as it is all in all do you know what i'm pretty impressed with it i don't think i would be but i am anyway if you fancy winning something a little bit better than this this is how you do it fancy winning some cool vr tech just like what you've just seen all you have to do is sign up to our weekly newsletter at the bottom of this video just click on this link here you'll go to this page put your email in click subscribe and confirm you're not a robot unless you are a robot and then you don't have to confirm it and while it's not necessary to win i will ask please do subscribe thanks for watching